on May 20th, 2020, I posted a video to my YouTube channel asking you guys for feedback on my idea for an audio visualizer for the touch bar. I thought it was a great idea, but the developers that I had talked to were asking between six and $10,000 to develop this app from scratch and I didn't really know what to do. Well, I ended up bootstrapping it myself, spending six months coding it and working with professionals on Upwork to help me along the way. And in January, 2021, I launched my app, AV Touch Bar. It gained a lot of traction on Reddit. It was featured on Product Hunt. And overall, the feedback from you guys was great. So how much money did I make from this project? Would I have broken even if I went the original route and paid a developer to code the entire thing from scratch? Did I even break even not doing that? Before we dive into the numbers, I just wanna say really quick, if you made the purchase for AV Touch Bar, thank you so much. You honestly have no idea how much that means to me. I've been making videos about the Touch Bar for well over a year, and the community we have surrounding not only AV Touch Bar, but just the Touch Bar in general is amazing. And I'm definitely not showing off these numbers to gloat or try and show off or anything like that. Having this extra income has made a serious impact on my life, so I hope that I can inspire others to start their own side projects as well. So I actually came up with this idea four years ago, and I saw that nobody had done it yet. I assumed that somebody else would do it, but when I checked again in February of 2020, nobody had done it yet. And that's when I started doing a lot of market research to see if other people would want this idea too. By November of 2020, we had an MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product. It's the most basic version of the application so that you can show people and get people excited or raise funding or both. So I launched the Patreon in November 2020, and you can see that there is no revenue on the board. And that is because we didn't get paid until December. So I went by when Patreon paid me, not when people actually signed up for the product. By then, we had accumulated almost $810 in expenses, purchasing the domain name, getting hosting, and then hiring developers on Upwork so that they could help us in areas that I just couldn't do. So you'll see that on the left side, I have a category called Paddle, and Paddle is my reseller that I sell the app through. So basically, the user purchases the app through Paddle, they handle all the taxes based on where that user is located, they do the transaction and then they transfer that money to the developer. They solve a massive problem because if you're a solo developer and you're trying to tax people based on where they're from, there's just a huge problem to solve that would probably require an app by itself and that is why Paddle exists. Then in December 2020, we got our first payment from Patreon for $621.92. I had set up three tiers for Patreon, a $3 tier, a $5 tier, and a $10 tier. All three tiers gave the user discord benefits and a lifetime license for AV Touch Bar. The $10 tier would get your name stamped on the AV Touch Bar website, and those guys are still up there today. Shout out to my top tier Patreon supporters. We also had another $300 in developer expenses and $10 for the hosting. So even though we actually had a net profit of $312 in the month, our rolling net profit is still in the negative. Now, January was a really big month for the app. We got our payment from Patreon from all our December signups, and that was for $482. And by the end of January, January, the app was ready for launch. So we actually launched the app on January 22nd or 23rd, I can't remember. And within that first week of launching, we got over $1,185. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was so incredibly amazed. I didn't really know what to do. I was just so happy. So for the whole month, we got $1,668 in revenue and our net profit was over $1,500. This put our rolling net profit in the positive and we now had made over $1,000. So for me, at this point, I was like, oh, I could take a deep breath and be like, we did it. Like we're in the profit. We are going to be okay. This wasn't of failure. So things get even more interesting in February. We had some leftover Patreon subscribers that signed up in January prior to the app launch, and that accounted for $132. And through our website in February, we had over $1,700. Like, holy crap. So what actually happened is in January, I posted my app on Product Hunt. I was like, yes, this thing's gonna be sick. It's gonna get so many upvotes. People are gonna love it. And guess what happened? It got no upvotes and absolutely nobody could say anything. <laughs> nobody liked it. Nobody thought it was cool. I was like, okay, I guess people on Product Hunt are weird. But one day in February, I woke up and I saw that I had a ton of traffic from Product Hunt. 
and I was really confused. What must have ended up happening was somebody from Product Hunt was searching through products that they thought were really cool to be featured on Product Hunt. So on a random day in February, AV Touch Bar was actually featured at the top of the page for the day. It's pretty cool. You get a custom badge that says you were featured by Product Hunt. And I believe we finished either fourth or fifth overall on the day for the top product. So obviously that brought in a ton of traffic and a lot of sales. And of course, at this point, our expenses were really low. I forgot to touch on this, but in January, we did have $47 in refunds and we had $22 of refunds in February. I have a 14 day, no questions asked refund policy. You don't like it. You can just ask for your money back. And I feel like that was really important because one, I don't have a free trial for the app and two, the app is pretty complex and there is some setup to do. So I didn't want people to get frustrated with the setup and then be really unhappy with the app if they couldn't figure it out. So in March, it was much of the same, another $942 through the website. Couple that with $52 in expenses and we had a net profit of $892 for that month. April was actually a pretty interesting month because we joined the Bundle Hunt campaign. Bundle Hunt is a partner of 9to5Mac and on their website, they offer bundles that you can buy into that will unlock a ton of heavily discounted software. They told me they had a user base of over 900,000 people and I thought this could be a really good thing for AV Touch Bar. So how it worked as a developer is I would get 50% of the sales of AV Touch Bar that were sold through Bundle Hunt. So through Bundle Hunt, we made $573. And to be honest, that was a bit lower than what I was expecting. Initially in their campaign, I was at the top of the website in the featured section. So they clearly thought that the app was going to do well as well. Well, what ended up happening was I sent them the assets for AV Touch Bar with, you know, really nice pictures and a video to do display for the app. And for whatever reason, when the campaign launched, uh, they used kind of like random screenshots of my website that didn't really show the visualizer at all. So obviously I reached out, I was like, hey, can we change these images? They weren't the correct ones. And unfortunately, it just took them a couple days for the changes to take effect. So naturally, the first couple days of the launch is going to draw the most traffic and, you know, everybody's email blasting or whatever. So naturally, having all those people going to the website and not making any purchases on AV Touch Bar made the app just drop to the bottom of the list. But any extra revenue is a good thing. So we got $573. And I also was a Bundle Hunt affiliate. And so I sent out one email to people that follow me and we got $54 from people making purchases. Overall, we still had over $1,100 in revenue and net profit that month. And then from May until this month of January, um, pretty much was very consistent. It kept flopping between $500 a month and $900 a month. Not sure why, I feel like sometimes the internet is just like that. One month YouTube promotes a video, the next month it doesn't. The internet is kind of a weird place, but we can get to those juicy totals from when we launched the app until now. So through Patreon, we totaled over $1,250. And I feel like that matched up perfectly with what our expenses were for getting developers through Upwork. My main concern with the project was how much money I would have to put towards getting a developer to help me if I couldn't do something. But luckily I could do enough of this app where I feel like I hit the mark on how much I wanted to spend from developers. Through the website, we got just under $10,000. That is insane to me. And I am so, so ecstatic about that. And then through Bundle Hunt, we got an additional $600 in revenue. That totaled our income to $11,701.69. Nice. And our total expenses were $1,587.00. 80 cents. And we only had $244 in refunds, which I was incredibly happy with. A refund rate of 2.5% was really low to me. I was expecting more refunds because of how complicated the software was, but people must have liked it enough to either just figure it out on their own because they really wanted it, or they just liked the software. So our overall net profit was $10,113.89. So I am just so happy with that. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I'm so glad that I that I went through creating this app and figuring out how to freaking code stuff and just there was so much to learn and so much to do. I'm just really glad that I did it. Now, obviously there is an elephant in the room that we haven't discussed yet. And that's that Apple is removing the touch bar. 
That's right. Apple removed the touch bar on the new MacBook Pros, but to be honest, it's kind of okay. They're actually still selling the M1 MacBook Pro that does have a touch bar still. And the other thing is, there are still tens of millions of touch bars out there on previously sold MacBook Pros. The majority of people don't upgrade their system every year, and they're probably going to be using those MacBooks for the next five to eight years. So I definitely see AV Touch Bar continuing to sell for many years to come even though the sales will probably decline year over year. Now for me, I'm actually a minor league baseball player and that is my full-time job. Unfortunately, it's not the most lucrative option out there. The 2021 season was my sixth year in the minor leagues and I spent the year in AAA, which is the last level before the major leagues. The difference in salary between a rookie ball player and a AAA player is not really that much different. So you can imagine that when I tell you that this side income has almost doubled my annual salary, that that is going to be life-changing money. For baseball, you actually only get paid when you're in season playing. So having this side income has really helped me be able to afford an apartment close to where I train and it has allowed me to not have to go get a second job where I might have to work long hours that aren't flexible. It is not easy trying to train for baseball while working a second job because in order to be the best baseball player that you can be, you want to just be able to focus solely on baseball. So you can see how having passive income is incredibly useful to me because it opens up time for me to go train and rest and recover so that I'm ready to go for the next day. So for anybody that's watching and anybody that has made the purchase of AV Touch Bar, I just want to say again, thank you so freaking much. You have no idea how much you're helping me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying AV Touch Bar out there. I do plan on making a video of the entire story of how I started AV Touch Bar, including how I marketed it, how I ran it, how I did everything. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe for that video. And if you liked this video, it would mean so much if you popped that like button and I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.